also this is the uh, the receiver of the inside so as you can see this is uh, the power section and yeah hmm I don't know what for amp this is I guess it's class D if I if I look to this uh, switching power supply here it's located here it could might actually be class A HP but I guess it's uh, class D as you can see here's the heatsink and I need at least the tissue off this whole section here this green one and I need to screw off this uh, board actually there are loads of cables here so I'm not planning on doing that just to see the amps is not worth it and it has a lot of heat base of course on the on the side this uh, it's too uh, too big, it's uh, I think uh, too risky to do it. I have really no clue with all these, I mean, things these chips do. Rectifying the power is one thing it's doing, but I don't know really. This section here gets really hot to me. First, I didn't believe the wattage, but now I see all the power supplies inside. It could actually might be because, you know, this is more. Because uh, first, first I thought that this was just a normal uh, transformer. Actually, it is a transformer, but it's connected to all this stuff here, so it's. I don't believe it gives uh, that much power they are great because it uh, it's clearly didn't uh, gave, uh, give 100, 100 watt air mass to the sub and these connections don't uh, look really, uh, really great for high power at all and you can see actually the disc uh, drive bay thing antenna now of course this card uh, thing all oh, everything is connected with these cables there are some panasonic chips on them I don't know how good the, these caps are not too bad I guess uh, so no, they're not bent or but not really big so so I just want to show the amp and yeah this is it thanks for watching